People in Papua New Guinea have been farming land for over 10,000 years, but more recently they've moved into fish farming. We're working in developing countries to help people farm fish for food and income security. The aim is zero hunger worldwide. Many people in Papua New Guinea live off $1.50 a day, so it's very difficult for them to purchase food, um, and it's also difficult for them to raise their own animals for a source of protein. So they're malnourished and their children are malnourished, and often they can't afford to send their children to school, and that sets up a cycle of poverty that's very difficult to break. Together with the National Fisheries Authority of Papua New Guinea, we're breaking that cycle. When we were setting up the project, our goal was to improve people's nutrition, but we've actually seen a whole range of other benefits. We've seen more children at school, and there's a whole strata of disaffected youth that are no longer turning to drugs and crime. And we've seen hectares of marijuana fields that have been converted to highly productive fish farms. We train prisoners in fish farming so that they've got a livelihood when they're released from prison, but it also provides them with a source of protein in, in their prison diets. We've even seen a reduction in tribal fighting and also an increase in social stability in all the places we've been working. We also work in Vietnam and Indonesia and we're looking at expanding our research and activities in the Asia Pacific region. We are increasing fish production and we're generating a whole suite of positive impacts and that's going to change lives throughout the developing world.